Yo, it's your boy Jackie Dumson. Check it out now. If you guys don't know, man, I'm getting tons of like reports about Sosa Da Vinci. It looked like he impregnated half of the thoughts in fucking Chicago and around the USA because everybody claims they got a kid by Chief Sosa. Now listen. Pretty much some are claiming that Papa Savage, Chief Keith, isn't paying his bill. And some are claiming that, yeah, he's paying up, but he's not always punctual with it. And some are saying, listen, I got to go through the course to get the bread from Shouty, but he going to get finessed one way or the other. Now, apparently, this is one of his baby mamas right here. I believe this might be the second or third baby mama. Who knows, okay? Who knows in the line at the soup kitchen where or what number she got, Okay. But apparently, people were kind of trolling her, kind of making fun of her for kind of being a deadbeat or whatever the case is, and also saying the baby don't look like Chief Keith, because fans, fans are like the fucking monkey and Lion King, and they want to hold the baby up and kind of have it like, oh, this is the next Baby Savage by Chief Sosa. Now, here's the thing, okay, this is what uh, Chief Keith baby mom said, okay, now apparently, she even provided the receipts, including DNA results, and also it was announced that, hey, Chief Keith dispersed, and he had to pay like $23,000 uh, to two of his baby mamas, and basically, this chick, she's one of the baby mamas who received some guap from Chief Sosa. Now, here it is. This is what she said. She said, I should have stuck with my initial feelings and not accepted no one. You Chief Key fans are bananas. First of all, comment to negative stuff that you don't know shit about under my baby. Picture is a big no-no. It will get you blocked. Second, my baby looks like herself, her mommy and her daddy, Chief Keef. Okay, that's Papa Savage if you guys don't know, okay? Now, she says, third, fuck a name or looks. Blood do lie, or I guess she meant don't lie, and she had a little injection shit. She said, and trust me, her daddy take good care of her, whether it's by force or by choice. 90% of you bitches won't get, or Jesus Christ, this goddamn grammar. I'm thinking she means won't get half of what Kimmy in, got in two years from her daddy, from your kid's daddy. In your Listen, I don't know what she's trying to say. Pretty much she's trying to stun on somebody, okay? Now, here's the thing, because she did attach, and it looks like a DNA result, and hey, not going to lie, it kind of said probability of paternity, 99.999, a bunch of nines, percent. So, pretty much, it's Chief Keep's kid, okay? And apparently, the name of this child is Kimora Sosha Cozart, and the mom name is Erica. Now, you guys can see a picture of the kid. It looks like a pretty nice kid. I mean, actually, it's maybe a good thing that she keeps this kid away from Chief Keith because Chief Keith right now, the only thing he's doing is paintballing. But that's probably going to stop because, listen, apparently they went back to court and they got the child support raised back up, okay? Apparently, she was supposed to be getting like like 2000 per month or something like that. Apparently, now it's eleven grand, 11 motherfucking grand from Chief Keith. Now, listen. Yeah, I keep saying Chief keep money long, but eh, eh, 11 grand, and apparently he has to pay like 10 grand to another baby mama, so it's like 20 grand. Damn, 10 bands, 20 bands, 100 bands, fuck it, man. But it kind of tells you, man, now, if Chief Keith had to pay about 23000 in back child support, you got a bunch of baby mamas more jumping out the woods, they're trying to get him to court to try to get more kids placed on him, which might mean more child support. Now, the thing about that is, hey, listen, Chief Keith might literally have to start putting work in that studio and really start getting back on tour because he got to get that money, okay? Listen, listen, I know a lot of people think his money is long, okay? People love measuring Chief Keith's money. Like, he is the richest nigga alive, but still, there's going to be a point where it kind of runs out, okay? I mean, he's getting probably a decent income in, but still, when you got to feed a lot of mouths and you got to feed yourself, you got to keep a lifestyle up, it means you probably got to work. Nobody's born with a silver spoon in their mouth. So hopefully, man, hey, hopefully he takes care of all these kids uh, because, I mean, hey, whether he was wilding or whatever the case is and did his thing, you got all these kids, you got to take care of them now. It's fucked up. You got, you got to take care of them, though. But um, what do you guys think about this? Okay, usually you guys are real quick to attack whatever chick that's asking for money. It looks like in this case, with this chick at least, she might can't spell. Looks like she can't or can and she's not too good at English. But looks like she's not lying. She provided goddamn receipts, all right? Looks like Chief Sosa fathered a child with her. Looks like a daughter. And basically, he got to cut them checks, okay? Could you imagine Chief Keith being a deadbeat dad? Actually, I can't... Well, I know he loves KK, but i never seen him with no other kid like that. Huh. Well, get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe, man. It's your boy, DJ Academics. It's like the Mori edition of the Warren Shot Rack today, huh? What the fuck? Come out, man.